everyone in this scene the Jong and Bobe visit Sang Chol's house. Bobe wants Sang Chol to tell the truth about something. Before that, Bobe informs Han Mari and Sang Chol that Seren accused Sang Chol of being a stalker and chasing her out of greed. Han Mari, upon hearing this, couldn't stay silent. She was deeply upset to hear Sang Chol being labeled as a stalker. Han Mari expresses her frustration, stating that Seren has destroyed their peaceful family life. Seren continuously seduced Sang Chol, urging him to divorce Da Jong and promising to raise Song Yi together. However, after Sang Chol and Da Jong divorced, Seren even went as far as calling Sang Chol a stalker. Han Mari encourages Sang Chol to be honest because he has been treated unfairly by Seren. However, at that moment, Sang Chol feels unable to be honest with Bobe and asks Han Mari not to reveal too much and remain silent. Da Jong then asks Sang Chol to be truthful, stating that he is not Seren's stalker and that Seren was the one who received the flower bouquet on the wedding day. Additionally, there is a memorandum written by Sang Chol on the day Dok Su died. Due to the involvement of Dok Su Isu, Sang Chol is compelled to be honest so that Da Jong doesn't continue to bring up Dok Su matter in the conversation. Finally, Sang Chol kneels down to apologize to Bobe because Seren had lied to her. He defends Seren explaining that she lied out of fear. Bobe finally realized that Seren had been lying and that Sang Chol is not a stalker. Sang Chol tries to convince Bobe that he and Seren truly loved each other and that their affair was not like any ordinary affair. However, Bobe is fed up with Sang Chol's words. She asks Da Jong to leave the house and even pushes Sang Chol to the ground when he begs Bobe to accept him. Alright everyone, that's the scene for this time and thank you for watching my video.